Hello everyone and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs! Where I hope you guys are ready to celebrate some three-eyed puppies because that is one of the projects we are going to be working on today as well as making sure that we have plenty of food for our puppers and exploring what the burnt dog biscuits do! Because to be honest I'm actually pretty curious like what what the heck did the burnt dog biscuits do? I, I, I still have some more gut flora that we need to be exploring exploring and I really want to figure out what they do. So that is the project for today. However, before we get going, I feel like some of my poor wobble dogs are like starving to death. So we need to get them more food in here. And I have a bunch of pancakes. So I'm going to store the pancakes in here and we're just going to fill up the lily pad room with pancakes again in case that's what the dogs are in the mood for. I am always worried about little macaroon because he is so small. So small. Do you want to eat this pancake macaroon? Oh, there you go. Good job. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Macaroon is actually the very last of the dogs that I think we have even in. The oh, Macaroon! Izzy Loaf just crashed into you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but I think Macaroon is actually the last of the dogs we have who has three eyes. So when I was trying to think, who could we have to experiment with today at eating that burnt dog biscuit? Well, little Macaroon was the one that came to mind. So we're actually going to go ahead and do some crossbreeding with them as soon as I make sure. M -m -m Mango! <gasps> M -m -m Mango! Oh, but Mango, you're one of, like, my favorite puppers. I mean, they're all my favorite puppers because they're all good dogs. You know what? But Mango, you're getting old. Okay, maybe we'll have Macaroon and Mango try for a pup because that would be interesting to see what the results could potentially be. Uh, but meanwhile, Celery is bored too. Oh, do you think we need to add a lot more toys in here for them, you guys? One of my hopes is that we can have a digger dog whose job it's going to be to dig up more toys. But I guess, whoops, didn't mean to come in here. But I guess that means I should like leave more toys out for them. Like here's a stick, here's a couple pieces of bark. Like, will they play with these? Here's a newspaper. I'm hoping they'll play with these. Celery, you're not bored right now, but... Oh, <gasps> Izzy Loaf too? Oh no, Izzy Loaf had some of those rare genes as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. Today might be a pretty busy day where we're really focusing on trying to get some of the genes because Izzy Loaf is actually the one. Izzy Loaf and Celery were the ones who ended up producing these pups. Lemon Pod and Sephiroth of the Wonder Wings that I am so freaking happy to have. Uh, let's clean up this little bit of poop and then let's store away all of the teeth the puppies are losing. <laughs> oh, just so we save those for, you know, an appropriate occasion. And then how's Angel Joy doing? Angel Joy seems to be doing good. They've got a smiley ball. We dug up another beach ball. The puppies seem to be doing well. Little Squash is here. But I think it's okay. We can go ahead and put little Squash's core away. I always feel so nervous when there's options to like destroy the cores, to crack them open. No, I want to scoop up Angel Lake and just put little Angel Lake safely away. Collect, not destroy my seeds. Yeah, okay. So now that that is taken care of, um, I do want to go ahead. Let's swatch this over to fortune cookies. So, oh no, they picked up some macaroons. No, my beloved pups Who, of, of the big, of the, the big, um, wings. You guys ha are going to have like a life of fortune. You're literally only going to be eating fortune cookies, which means I really need to give our winged dogs with the feather wings that I am trying super hard to specifically breed traits in like an aviary to be isolated in, but we'll work on that in a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, Pavo's ready to go. Okie dokie. So Pavo, what am I gonna do with you? Like, do I have anything I could give you for a big tail? You know what, let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab one burnt dog biscuit, just one. And we're gonna feed it directly to Pavo. Sorry, Pavo, I'm just really curious about like how this would work. So could you eat that for me? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, you get all the praise for that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll have you puppy. Good job. Okay, so these guys are gonna be our trial puppies. Basil's also going to, no, 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 no,
for Basil and his three heads. You also have three heads, but this one... Hopefully... Good job, Basil. I'm so proud of you. Alright, we'll go ahead. Everybody's dancing to the music. They're super happy. Phew! Okay. So, now that that is done... Here we have... Oh no, dangerous looking! <gasps> what have I just done? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, Beans! Have I just done something really bad to our dogs? Oh, I'm nervous about this now. Are you okay? Oh, you're in one piece, Babu. I was so worried. <laughs> Did anything happen? Okay, nothing seemed to happen from those mutations. Thank goodness. Now I don't know if I want to feed that. I mean, I oh, he lost his little hearts. Now he's got little spots instead. And he's still got the big tail. We need to make it even bigger. Oh, I can't wait to have like multiple of those beautiful peacock tails. Oh man, but now I'm like really nervous about having the the burnt dog biscuit, to be honest. All right, and then let's go ahead and hatch Basil. I kinda wish there was like a dog food bowl item because I think that would be interesting. All right, Basil, are you okay? You're in one piece. Nothing happened from... Like, I feel like Basil with the little crosses for ears might be our best candidate to go ahead and tell us what the burnt dog biscuit does though. So we might isolate them for testing in just a little bit here. Whew. But I also feel like a three-eyed dog would be a great candidate as well. Oh my gosh, everybody's just having such a good time dancing to the music. It's so cute to see. So with that said, we know that Izzy Loaf and Celery and the others are starting to get super old. We probably don't want to waste time. Let's grab Macaroon of the blue ears and three eyes. And then I think we're going to come and see what Izzy Loaf gives us if we mix these two very vastly different genes. Because Izzy Loaf and Celery were actually the ones who had the uh, winged dogs so often. Oh, and actually I need to make <gasps> Celery. Oh, I think that Lemon Pod was supposed to be named like Celery the, um, oh, oh, I don't think I have, I don't think I have the next Celery, do I? Oh geez, this is a huge dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you look so cute. I love the little the little socket eyes. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, this one's so tiny. Oh my gosh, I love you. Ah, oh, we've got so many cute dogs. Oh my gosh, that's that's one of the like can never be hatched ones because it has literally over a hundred legs. All right. So I am actually missing it now that I'm looking. Izzy loaf and celery's celery, like because I don't think I have. Celery the seventh, right? Have we really gone? We've really gone that far that fast. I actually, I'm gonna double check. Lemon Pod, Macaroon, Angel Joy. I think this what Lemon Pod was supposed to be Celery the seventh, but I think Lemon Pod's a little bit sassy for that. So, all right, I'm not gonna complain. Let's grab Celery. Let's grab Izzy Loaf. They've already had two dogs, but it produced some amazing feathered wings. Now let's see if we get that again. Maybe, maybe not. Hello, puppers! So this time we are gonna look for somebody who can carry on the celery lineage as well. So we'll stick to mostly the ones who are green. Hmm. Man, I love those tails. Oh, these are huge wings. Oh man, we've got the good big tails. Oh, we've got these cute little like Whoppy tails. Oh my gosh. All right. Do I have any others with the feather tail? I do not. So we'll see if we get a good... Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So at least we have the bat wings and the big feather tail. So we're closer, if not quite in the same ballpark, to the dogs that I am dreaming of where they're going to be basically bird dogs with a big feathered tail and big feathery wings. Now let's see, maybe we'll mix these two. And then I think we're gonna have to really focus on trying to make our next dog green. Cause I think we're starting to lose a little bit of the greenery that defines a celery dog. All right. Let's see, we got the big tail. I also need the dog to be long. We're probably gonna need to do a bunch of french fries. Yes, yes, let's see. A little concerned. 
little concerned. I might need to make my choice sooner than I wish because I'm, I'm concerned we're starting to lose the length of our dogs. This one seems like a good choice. All right, we'll maybe crossbreed one more time and see if we get anything interesting. All right, do we have a one-winged dog? Because that would also be suitable. We do not. Okay, I think maybe we'll try one more time just to see if I can get somebody a little bit more on the green side. Oh, there's so many of them, they're so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pick the next celery now because like the dogs are starting to get a little bit short for my taste. I think this is a good one right here. Oh, their noses are so squat, you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't think we've ever had dogs with such cute little noses before. That's adorable. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead. We shall select. Eh, how do I? All right, select final dog. Boom. We'll go ahead and pick this one. And we shall add this puppers into the pile. There we go. That makes me pretty happy. So now we at least have a celery dog, which is important. And I think we are gonna start like isolating certain rooms to breed certain traits, but I wanna make sure the puppies have like friends. Oh, there you go, Sephiroth. Chow down, chow down on these big old, these big old fortune cookies. You're basically gonna get fortune cookies your whole life, my friend. <gasps> Mom, mango! Oh no! We missed the chance to go ahead and get any more babies from the Mama Mango. Oh, little one! You're here with the ghost of green bean. I'm gonna try to clean this room up before you die. Oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Very tragic. Oh dear, there's a task over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I really need to gather up all of these dog cores. We've got Kiwi Bean over here. We've got Green Bean, we've got Iceberg. Here's Celery the Fifth. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that one away too. Oh, Sephiroth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like move the dogs around. I've got, I've got plans, friends. I've got projects and plans. All right, how we going? We're changing the color a little bit. <gasps> Wing size has increased, yes! Okay, that makes me very happy. Snout length is going down, but I don't know how much down you can get with the snout. And the nose size has gone up, so now we have a carrot nose, which is adorable. Ooh, and we definitely need to go ahead and put away more of the bone pieces. Because otherwise, we're gonna have too many bones that the puppies might get distracted eating. <gasps> Izzy Loaf, no! Izzy Loaf, oh my gosh! Grab Izzy Loaf! Grab Macaroon! Go, 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 go! Oh, I should have acted faster on the breeding. It's just, it, it can be so tricky. <gasps> A curly tailed dog, you guys! Okay, so I legitimately don't know like where I'm going with these pups. I, I love the squirrel tailed dog with all my heart, uh, but we're also trying to like go for the three eyes. Oh, there are no three eyes on that dog. Oh no, oh dear. Where are we going? And this is the last chance we have. Oh my gosh, those are new eyes. This is the last chance we have with Izzy Loaf. So I mean, you know what? Let's just push this. These are two very, very different dogs genetically. So let's just push this as far as we can go and see see what, what fruits it bears us. And we'll try to just keep picking the dogs who look the most different. Wait, is this one missing a leg? Is this one missing the left leg? But it needs to be a left front leg, doesn't it? They're starting to miss legs on random sides. It's not just that one, it's this one over here too. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, where are we going here? I know that I need to have some dogs who are missing some of their legs, as weird as that sounds, because it's one of the achievements we don't have yet. But I did not expect this as the result between Macaroon and Izzy Loaf. Okay. We're gonna, like I keep saying, we're gonna just keep going with the weirdest cross that we can find. And we're gonna push this. It's the last puppy we ever get from Izzy Loaf. That means something to me. Look at that tail. Oh, look at that tail. Oh my gosh, that tail is so glorious. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, Izzy Loaf. She has given us so many good, or I guess they, they have given us so many great unexpected dogs. Oh, this one has a little snout that you don't usually see and tiny little eyes. I feel like some of these puppies you need like a microscope to see because they get so small. All right, now we've got like a, a beaver tailed wonder dog who's kind of like, kind of like a banana in the in like the body coloring oh and now we get a massive litter of beaver tailed wonder dogs <laughs> i don't even know what to think about this oh my gosh okay let's see i'm gonna try to keep pushing it let's see let's go for i really like this guy right here oh and look at that little oh come on oh i oh no you guys he's wandering into my little arms oh i love him Come on, Siri, at least 50%. Oh, I have the sad that I sometimes get when I pass up a dog I probably wanted. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, lesson learned. And maybe there are some puppies that I wanted to keep from that. But I'm trying to do well at like pushing the jeans as far as they can go. Oh, okay. But this is Izzy Loaf's last puppy. Oh, listen to them howl. That's so cool! This is not what I thought we were going to get remotely. Like, nowhere close. Oh, there we go, you guys! <gasps> we're missing two legs! Okay, as terrible as this is, I think that this might be a achievement dog. So, a two-legged, beaver-tailed, three-headed, polka dot spot puppy. Um, not a crime against all that is decent and good in the world. It's just science. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So there we go. That was unexpected. I did not anticipate that was going to be the result of the last puppy we ever got from Izzy Love. Oh, my beloved dear. Let's get one more picture of you with that beautiful big tail. I thought we were going to have more of that, that glorious peacock tail. And yet this is, this is how it ends. This is how it ends. Oh. Thank you, Izzy Loaf. It has been an honor. Oh. Oh. And Toad got smacked with this gigantic tail that he is now eating with a vengeance. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we still don't have a three eyed dog, and that's kind of like going to be a vitally important priority. Okay, well, there we go, you guys. It looks like we have more of our little ones ready to go ahead and to pup aid. We've got to go ahead and get a three-eyed dog. I have no idea what Angel Joy is going to look like after all of the chaos of its growth. Um, and that's wobble dogs for you. So if you guys would like to join us on this chaos and even more chaos, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.